Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Today I will talk about boots. Why I'm talking about boots? I got so many questions during the last time um, regarding jeans, t-shirts, leather jackets, Chelsea boots, sneakers and everything like that. And yeah, it's much easier to do videos about that than um, talking on Instagram or doing a photo. So. Today let's talk about boots. I counted my favorite pairs in front of this video and I counted 19 pairs of boots. So I will show you now my 19 favorite pair of boots, a lot of Chelsea boots and um, afterwards I will compare them like all the black ones, which one you should go for and which one I would recommend and what you should look for when you buy some Chelsea boots or boots. And um, yeah, let's start. So guys, let's start with the black ones first. Um, this one is from Kors, selected on Hugo Boss, Saint Laurent. Selected on Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent. Um, which one I was wearing the most during the last years? It is this one. It's from Kors, um, it has a zip here, very nice quality. Kors belongs to H&M. And um, yeah, I was wearing it so often and uh, it still looks very nice. So big recommendation, have a look at course, they have nice stuff. Selected arm, the old version of the selected arm is not so nice. It's too wide here and the quality is not so nice. It could be better, but the new version, this one, is really cool. Compared to the Hugo Boss, really cool. So. Recommendation, selected on, new version of the Chelsea boots, very nice, 150 euro. Um, Hugo Boss, I bought it for 250 euro and the quality is so amazing. Uh, it has a zip, the shape is totally amazing and compared to the Sonor, which cost 600 euro more, uh, the Hugo Boss is uh, better. So the Sonor, classic Chelsea boot with a 20 millimeter heel, cost around 1000 euros and is my favorite one um, because it's the most classiest one. I think I'm wearing it currently the most but uh, you can combine it so easy to a black jeans and it looks amazing even when you go for a classy style with a, with a jacket and a shirt it looks totally amazing. So also very nice but expensive. So what about the Bose Wyatts? Um, this one is from 2017 with a 40 mm heel and um, the zip is not visible. So that's the difference between this one and the 2013 Wyatt. It has also a 40 mm heel but a visible zip. I like the one with a visible zip much more. You cannot buy it anymore but you can have a look at Grailed. It's a second hand shop. Um, there's an app, an app store like Grailed. And, um, it's really nice. Um, I think the Wyatt is very special. You love it or you hate it, so I love it. <laughs> Obviously I love it because I have more Wyatts. And it's not an everyday shoe because it's... Um, if you're searching for an everyday black Chelsea boot, I would go for one with a smaller heel, like this one, or this one, because this one is more special, more special. So, my recommendation of all black Chelsea boots is the Kors or the Hugo Boss. So guys, let's start with a different colorway. Shoot the beer, common project, Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, represent closing, Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, Bottega Veneta. Um, let's start here. Shoot the beer, 150 euro, really nice. You can still find it online. Colorway is amazing, shape is good. The only thing I don't like is if this flex fit to get into the shoe has a totally different color compared to the rest of the shoe. So, um, for example, this one, Common Projects, around 400 euro, one of the most famous Chelsea boots ever. Um, this one I like much more because you can see the color is pretty much the same as the rest of the shoe. And yeah, the quality is better than this one. And, um, 400 euro are expensive, but not ex as expensive as, for example, a Saint Laurent. So, common projects, very nice. This is a Saint Laurent I bought on Farfetch. For it was on sale, so I bought it for 500 euros. It has a harness and um, a zip, and not a big heel. 
colorway is um, yeah, pretty much the same as this one. So um, it's a really nice one. I was wearing them a lot. <laughs> this one is also from Saint Laurent. Um, unfortunately, I was not wearing them very often. Maybe because of the big heel and the different color here. I don't know. I have to wear it much more because the colorway of the shoe is amazing. I don't know why I'm not wearing them so often, um, but I have to. So this one is interesting. It's uh, from Rippers and Closing. It costs around 200 euro. It's very often sold out. So, um, but it's a copy of the Bottega Veneta. Not the color, but the shoe. And you can see it here, or here, then here, and here. Um, I don't know. It's yeah, they can copy. It's no crime or something, but. Um, the Bottega Veneta has a better quality, a better fit, and is, of course, the better shoe. So, um, I would recommend to, to buy this one, but in the US it's much more expensive than in Germany. In the US it costs around the Bottega Veneta $800, and in Germany it's 400 or 600, something like that, but much more in the US. So, um, this one is 200 euro, also a nice one. Of course, the quality, everything is amazing. Yeah, it's a different budget, so both are cool shoes. So this one is from Saint Laurent. It's a white, it's a 40 millimeter heel. Harness, no visible zip, but the best colorway I've seen so far. Uh, it's a vintage leather and it's rough. And yeah, it's, I think it's my favorite, favorite pair of boots, yeah. It's really cool, I love them. So, um, and this one I bought two weeks ago in New York. Uh, I love the colorway. It's like a, a gray, something like that. And uh, it's not a big heel, like 20 millimeters. And um, yeah, I love the colorway. So I bought it, it's around 1000 euros. So my recommendation of all of those boots here is the Common Projects. Um, it costs about 400 euro, as I said, and I was wearing them so often and I cleaned it and they're still looking so nice. So quality is very good. Um, I love the colorway to combine it with the all black outfit. So um, I would recommend you this one. Bottega Veneta, Bottega Veneta Common Projects. Um, this one is such a nice colorway. It's a dark gray, really, really nice. This one is my favorite gray. It's a light gray from from, 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 from. Uh, Common Projects, too many brand names. Common Projects, um, yeah, it's so cool and uh, I was wearing them so often, like this and this. I don't know, the description was like espresso or brown. The colorway is not 100% perfect, it's more dark, maybe something like black, so I was thinking about brown. Anyway, those are amazing. This is the best one. Next ones. So guys, now lace-up boots. Um, Saint Laurent selected on top man. I love to wear lace-up boots. Um, I think during the next time I'll wear them much more often. You can see my last Instagram posts are a lot with these ones. Um, I got it on Grail because you cannot buy it anymore. David Beckham was wearing them two years ago and you can imagine afterwards directly sold out. So I got it on Grail, second hand. Really happy to have them and uh, I paid 500 euro. Still very expensive for a second hand shoe. This one is from Selected Home. It's really cool because it's undestroyable. You know, it's uh, very hard leather and you can wear it if snow is out there and everything. And, they are undestroyable, but really cool to a total black outfit. So. And this one is really amazing. I bought it for 80 euro on Top End, on the internet. And um, I love this kind of boots, like the army boots, something like that. And the colorway is even nicer than the Saint Laurent. Um, the fit is also very perfect. So for 80 euros, such amazing shoe. And have a look online, maybe Top Man, they are one year old, so you cannot get it anymore. But uh, maybe they have something similar. And big recommendation, Top Man, Chelsea boot, uh, uh, laser boot, very nice. 
So guys, um, at the end, this one, Saint Laurent laser boot, the Wyatt and the classier one, are one of my favorite boots. And uh, if you want to look for something similar, I can recommend to have a look at Topman. Common projects, really nice. And Coors or Selected Om. They have similar boots to the, this one and they look pretty much the same. So just have a look for the shape that it's thin here, that the heel is not too high and um, that, yeah, that you feel comfortable with it. So hopefully you like my review and now I will tell you something about, just short about the jeans you have to wear for Chelsea boots. So guys, last thing I will talk about the jeans you have to wear to Chelsea boots, or I would recommend to wear to Chelsea boots. Um, this is one of my favorite jeans. I'm wearing these jeans to every kind of these Chelsea boots. So um, let's measure the end, the opening of the jeans. It's 15 centimeters. So, the opening of the jeans is 15 centimeters and if it's too wide it looks terrible so um, I would recommend to if you have a jeans you you love to wear to Chelsea boots go to your tailor and say hey please make it more thinner so um, and please one more thing if you are wearing jeans please don't have your ankle free so I saw so many pictures guys are rolling up the jeans and something like that and wearing it like here with the free ankle and it looks so terrible. So please don't do that. Please wear your jeans over your Chelsea boots, but the jeans have to be very tight and then it looks perfect. So uh, yeah, guys, that's all. I hope you liked the video. And if you have any questions, of course, please leave a comment. Um, thanks you so much for watching. And uh, now I have to uh, take care of the chaos here <laughs> and clean my table. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.